Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about letting go of toxic attachments. The universe has a lot in store for us, a lot better than what we think we want. And a lot of times what we think we want is something that is our attachment. It may not even be good for our energy in the long run. It can be something that can affect us adversely. But because we have a toxic attachment to that thing, to that person, we always end up putting it on a pedestal. We always end up chasing that thing. And because of that, universe is unable to deliver us what we truly deserve, what is truly aligned with our energy. This is why when you let go, you create space for more to enter your life. So you have to question that what you think you want, is that really something that is aligned with you? Maybe you want something that you had in the past. It can be a relationship from the past and you're waiting for that relationship to work. But maybe you are supposed to let go of it and that will help you to work on yourself, heal yourself, become your highest version and that will change your vibration. And once you completely let go of the old, of the old attachments there is so much space that is freed and that space can help you to attract something new maybe a better relationship a hundred times better than the previous one so the ego always gets fixated that this is the one particular thing that i want and a lot of times that thing is something that is related to the past it has a similar energy to the past and this is why it is also limited. It does not have the quality of infinite possibilities in it. It is very particular. It is very well defined. It is a box. So this does not mean that you don't have to be really clear about what you want. But it's about letting go of how you want. Like how it will come to you. The vision should be there. But when you are really attached to the how part, you create resistance. This is the controlling nature of the ego. It is very insecure. It wants to control the how part really badly. And because of that, people are unable to flow. And when you are flowing, things happen spontaneously. You don't have to control anything. So let go of all your toxic attachments. It can be to people, things, the company that you keep. Try to observe that is this something that I am trying to manifest or trying to attract from my present level of consciousness or because it suits my past energy. Attachments and the past, they both are connected. You cannot be attached to something in the present. You cannot be attached to a stranger. You cannot be attached to something new. It has to be old. You have to have a memory of it. It has to be a past experience. So when you get attached even to a future thing that you think you, I want this experience and you're attached, to the image of that experience is because it is connecting to something that you have experienced in the past. So you are creating from the past, not from the present moment, which is the field of infinite possibilities. So whenever you are attached, you are attached to something that carries the energy of the past. And we are constantly supposed to be outgrowing past. A very good sign of growth is that you no longer are aligned or feeling comfortable with the same person you used to be. You're constantly moving forward. You're going into the unknown. So how does it look like when you are not living from a space of attachment? You live life spontaneously. You don't make things happen. Things happen to you. You don't run after things. Things run after you. Everything flips because you become the center. You become the source. And you no longer operate from the ego. You start operating from the higher self, from something higher than the ego. And some people get confused that if they let go of attachments, how will they enjoy life? They will become emotionless. So they are confusing becoming detached, letting go of attachment with emotionless. Attachment is here. Emotions are here. Attachment is something of the mind. It is just a story. That's why I said you can't be attached to a stranger. It's a new thing. You can't be attached in the present. The less attached a person is, the more emotionally they are connected in the present moment. That's the paradox. But the ego will make you believe that if you let go of attachments, you will become emotionless. But actually, you will be able to enjoy more. You will be able to feel 
this moment not just living in the head so our entire life revolves around the past the attachments so in a way this is the defense mechanism of the ego creating these excuses so that you never see the deeper truth because it fears once you see the deeper truth the entire world that it has created it will collapse there will be a ego death and the ego will never be ready for its death but that will be the beginning of your higher self you can't experience something higher you can't let go from the ego you need a higher consciousness and for that you have to see the truth of your attachments of your toxic attachments of your past you have to see these things from a higher perspective the ego can't make you see these things the ego is really surrounded with attachments and it can never create space for anything new to enter it will just create fixed ways to attract something it will focus so much on how it will happen that you will always end up feeling stressful drained it will never surrender to the divine will divine timing that i just have to do my best and the universe will take care of the rest i trust in that this is why meditation helps surrendering helps anything that helps you to let go of the mind of the ego it helps to anchor in that frequency for me meditation is simply a letting go process letting go of your stories letting go of your thoughts and realizing that i am something beyond them so that's why one should take the time to realize that they are not everything that they think everything that you think you want maybe it's not you it's the ego it's the mind and once you are able to see this from a higher perspective then you know that you don't have to chase you just have to embody the frequency that you want that you feel that's what attracts everything to you so let go and create space for the breakthroughs for the abundance for the highest energy that the universe wants to give you it has the best in store for you but you have to let go to let that in so i hope you enjoyed this video you can like comment share and thank you for taking the time to subscribe much love to you all